Okay, y'all, right here, I got a one by nine that my neighbor had given me, and I took that um, folk art wood tent, and I stained both sides of it, and now I got a candle here, and I'm just going to take and rub that candle all over my board. It don't matter what smell or what scent or color you use, it's, it's still candle wax. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint here, and I'm going to disappear, and I'm going to come back with a chippy brush, and I'm going to paint my board. Now, where I went wrong, instead of letting it, like, almost all the way dry, um, I left it overnight, I think, and it dried all the way. Anyway, I mean, it really, really dried, and I want to make sure y'all saw how I painted it, I reckon. And so... <laughs> When I come back, maybe it was, I don't know how long I left it, but it was so dry I couldn't hardly scrape it off. So I'm going to take my heat tool here and my little Cricut spatula. I'm going to heat that wax back up, and I'm going to run that little spatula all over. I mean, I wasn't too concerned about it because I know I'm going to put vinyl on it, and I know that vinyl is going to pull a lot of that paint up and make it look old and rustic the way I wanted it. <clears throat> now, my Cricut, I, may, I took that little... Baby Jesus ornament with the angels and stuff, and I topped out um, uh, Oh Holy Night, the the first verse and stuff, and and um, I saved that in my account, y'all. It's under Kathy Joe DIYs now. I can't find anybody either, so you can look up Kathy Joe DIYs and probably find me in Cricut. Anyway, <clears throat> and you can get that design. Anyway, um, I just take the out outer part of my little. Christmas bulb, y'all, I love this, I'm in love with this, and I do it red, and then I do the star and the angels and the baby Jesus in um, metallic gold, and I just take my dauber and pounce it up and down real lightly to try to prevent the bleeding, and then all my words I do in that crimson red except fall on your knees, now originally I put, and I'd like to pull it off while it's still wet because if it's dry, you let it dry. Sometimes it takes your paint off with it, and you don't want that. <laughs> well, you might, but, you know, teach his own. I don't want that. But anyway, I originally did fall on your knees in that crimson, and then I wiped it off with a wet wipe. And I take that um, vintage green. I love that by uh, Folk Art Home Decor. It's chalk paint. And I'm going to dab uh, fall on your knees in green. This thing is a big sign, y'all. It's um, a 1 by 12, and it, no, 1 by 9, and it's 30 inches long. <clears throat> and here I'm just ripping that stencil up off here, like I said, do it while it's wet. But look at this, y'all. Oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. I love this, y'all. I had this in my mind since... Last year, do you know Oh Holy Night originally was not a Christmas song, but now it is. But anyway, and think about it, it doesn't say Christmassy stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it talks about Jesus being born, but y'all know what I mean. Anyway, okay, right here, we got one of them garbage baskets, uh, yeah, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just smashing it in. <laughs> Y'all see me? I'm just smashing, smashing, smashing. Trying to flatten it out some. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. My allergies and stuff kill me. And um, I lost my voice, but I, I got it back. So, yeah, I hope I make it through this video. So, anyway, um, I'm trying to make that bottom part flat and bend that and finagle around. I left this in here so y'all can see how I do it because I realize I do cut a lot of stuff out. Um, cause most y'all think, oh, you know what you're doing, then these new crafters like, I don't know how you did it, you know what I mean, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be that way. Anyway, okay, I got that black felt from the Dollar Tree. Now, you may only need one roll, I had a part of one there, and I had another one, and I started with the part of one, so I'm not sure, I, I think it shouldn't take more than one, but anyway, I'm gonna set my basket on top of it and cut me out a square, you know about the right size of what I need there. And I'm taking Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'm putting it on top of my basket. And I'm gonna take a piece of that felt and put that up on top there. Now, the reason I have gloves on, if y'all been with me a while, you know I cannot stand to touch that stuff here. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Anyway, I'm gonna cut me some slits in it here. And I'm just gonna take um, some hot glue and I'm gonna take that that down where I cut the slits 
to make it lean over the edge there real good. Um, yeah, you see what I'm saying? And apparently I left a lot of stuff in. I really wanted to make sure you saw what I was saying. You know, but you see what I'm doing? Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, anyway, here I'm just cutting off the excess from that. And then I'm going to take my other piece of felt that's left over. I'm going to wrap it around the, the top part of my basket there, which is now the top part of my hat. So, anyway, I was actually going to do Frosty the Snowman, and I was going to put a sign on it that said, Happy Birthday! You know what I mean? And uh, I didn't have the white flower that I needed and, the, and the, all that jazz. So, I just did this. So, anyway, I did a pretty snowman hat or just a top hat i don't know y'all christmas hat this is going on top of my tree and i'm just talking talking but anyway it's not even about what i'm doing either I'm like, anyway so i'm just going to wrap it around and and glue that down you y'all saw why i was talking what i'm doing and now i'm going to cut slits in again now don't tack it up until you've got those slits cut and got it under control i know what i'm trying to say here but what i do when i'm done here is okay never mind so those pieces <laughs> from those slits that i cut i'm gonna hot glue them down to the brim of my hat there yeah is it brim or i know you got the bill of a hat but i don't know if that's considered a bill when it's that kind of hat anyway i don't know i let's just let's just discuss it Anyway, I'm going to make a little hem there and fold that in because I want that back to look real nice. And then I'm going to hot glue that down nice and tight and make sure I get all those other pieces hot glued down. And then just cut off our excess there. Now, I got a piece of cardboard and I'm going to just trace it out. Well, twice because it was a hole in it and I messed it up. And just set your little hat on there and trace it out and then I'm going to take another piece of felt and one of those chalk pins from the Dollar Tree and trace out my cardboard and then y'all might want to do this before you make this if you make it I happen to have another basket so I was able to put that on there but you need to really probably do that ahead of time so anyway you know what I mean because you don't want to get chalk marker on your hat that you're making that's got the felt on it already oh my goodness i'm the worst explainer in the world so anyway we're gonna throw that over there and make sure it fits y'all saw what i did cut that out <laughs> doing it again just talking about nothing and i'm gonna um take that aliens tacky glue and some hot glue and i'm going all around the outside of my cardboard there because i want to glue my hat down to it now, I didn't cut a hole in it yet because I got to wait till I get my tree out to see about how big I need to hoe. But I am, if, if when I put that on top of my tree, I'll show y'all when I get my tree up. Anyway, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to cut off the rest of that cardboard there that's hanging over on, on you know. And um, then I'm going to put my, that piece on. I don't know what you call it, just that piece. And I'm taking Aileen's tacky glue, but don't do it on your cutting mat right there. Do it on, um, yeah, do it on your silicone mold, something, whatever you're working on top of and not your mat. You don't want to ruin it. And then I'm cutting more slits. Man, we slit this baby up, then we? And uh, go all the way around it real good. Now, if you watch my fingers, I put my finger down before I get right to the, I mean, right to the edge, but don't go all the way to the edge, but I mean, it's close. Anyway. And um, then we're going to cut off the excess because you don't want all that bulk up underneath your hat. If y'all do this, if any of y'all do, please send it to me. And we're just going to take hot glue and we're going to uh, uh, fold all that stuff underneath there. Those slits we cut and, and hot glue them underneath our hat. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Y'all, I was I, I was talking to y'all, and I know you couldn't hear me, but I'm just like, oh, I need their help. Because you all know I love tartan plaid. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty. But it just didn't seem like it went. And I'm like, because oh, I do rustic for Christmas. And I was just like, oh, I need their help. And 
I mean, just all the ribbon you could use. You could probably switch it out year to year. And then that one's really pretty because it says Merry Christmas, but it didn't match. And then there's a gingham one. It's gorgeous. I almost went with that one. I really, really like that one. And then there's a buffalo check. <laughs> and I like that red and black buffalo check real well, too. Um, but that one, I went with that one. I got that ribbon from Walmart, and I love it. It's beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to wrap it around there and cut it off. I know y'all was like, I don't want to see all that. You trying to add on? But I just wanted y'all to see, and I needed help. But I ended up choosing that one. And I just tacked it in the back where that seam already is. And, um, yeah. Oh, so I'm going to take two of these picks. I got them from the Walmart. Y'all pulled them off a pick. And <coughs> I'm going to take you and <coughs> wrap them up real good because I want something substantial for that glue to hold on to when I glue it to my hat. I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, and I just take different picks. I don't even know where they came from. Dollar Tree, Walmart, I don't know, backyard somewhere. I'm just cutting a bunch of stuff off, piecing stuff together, and putting on my little hat the way I like it, the way I want, the way I thought was pretty. Y'all can decorate your little hat any way you want it. Any way you want it. That's the, well, I don't know the words, or I would sing it, but apparently, any way you want. I don't know. I don't know the words. Anyway. Yeah, see, I'm cutting off pieces and gluing pieces together. <laughs> <Make them. laughs> I'm so generic. Anyway, to make them uh, the way I want them. Anyway, so I'm going to take those little berries, those little flock berries I got from the Dollar Tree this year. And, man, I went crazy. I went hog wild with them berries. I glued like 45 of them on there. No, I didn't, but I did glue like four of them. I was just going very crazy. And I glued me two little pine cones on there. And this is just too cute, y'all. And um, I take some of that faux snow from the Dollar Tree. And I don't put Mod Podge down or any kind of adhesive spray or nothing. I just sprinkle that snow all the way around the little edge of my hat and on the brim. Ugh! I hate touching that stuff. Watch this. My fingers are twitch. Anyway, and I just keep sprinkling it on and shaking it off. And sprinkling it on and shaking it off. Because I wanted it to look like it got snow on I, I could have done something, I don't know, to make it stick. But it seemed to be sticking really good just the way it was. Because that felt, you know what I mean? And that stuff. And I don't know. Yeah, I think I, it needs more on it than what I have now. Maybe I need to put some spray. I'm just rambling. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, eh, eh. Here it is. It looks like I need to pull that tight. But I think this is so pretty. And seriously, I'm going to put it on top of my tree. And seriously, if I remember, I'll take a picture and show y'all with it on top of my tree. So, yep, we made a tree topper, y'all. Okay, right here, I got that picture thing from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut it open. And take the back out. And I pulled them little roses off. And I was trying to get that. And the first one went good. I'm like, yes. And then the second one ripped the paper. I'm like, great. So I tried to remove as much as that I could. You can't hardly get that paper off there. I sprayed water on it and everything. It's got that plastic coating on it. And you just can't do it. Look at it. And I'm going to sand down my frame real good. And sand down that thing real good. Because sometimes you can't paint them frames. Because it's got a clear plastic coat on it. And those, y'all. Those are so pretty as soon as i saw them i was like i've got to have these i love ice skates for christmas and these are just so pretty so i'm going to take my heat tool and my little cricket spatula and i'm going to get my stars off there now i'm going to take the top off of that left one because i don't like them facing each other i think that's silly i think they ought to face away from each other you know what i mean but them facing each other makes you look like you're goofy and you can't walk Anyway, so I'm going to take a piece of just printer paper here. And I'm going to trace out that little shoelace area um, and the little shoelace holes that's on that one. And, well, yeah. Anyway, and I'm just gluing that piece right there back on the opposite side that I'm doing everything on. See, it fit perfect with the little hole. Now, I painted them black, and here's where I went wrong. Went wrong, went wrong, went wrong. Anyway, you see the little sole of the ice skate on the right-hand side there? 
I didn't realize, uh, you know, that was there. And I painted my whole skate, so I had to fix that, y'all. So I took um, metallic uh, sterling silver uh, paint by Folk Work, and I painted my blades. And I'm taking, ca uh, not cashew, shoot, plaster, and painting the top and, and my sole of my shoe. Now, see, I had to just freehand it and go over. I should have just, I couldn't. Well, I could have traced it out. And then just done it like that. But I wasn't thinking about it till just now. But whatever. Damage done. So I'm going to take my metallic marker there. <clears throat> excuse me. From the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to trace out my little uh, lace area of my boots. And where I traced that earlier with that printer paper. I'm just going to lay it on top of that skate. And just press really hard. Tracing over what I'd already done. What You know what I mean? And then I, you, there's an indention there with that pencil if you press real hard. And I just took my metallic marker and went over that there. And then I'm going to take my little snowflakes and paint them in the plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And I got that piece of paper from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to cut it out. I traced out my little frame. Take my glue stick. Because I don't have to worry about this stick because it's going to be in that frame. <laughs> Did that even sound like a sentence? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put my thing back together. And, um, goodness. Oh, I'm going to take that car wash rag and I put it at the top of my little skates. I wish I could have put it down around the bottom, but, you know. Anyway, I could, I'm not that talented. And I'm just hot gluing that down on there. <clears throat> then I got this silver, um glitter glue and I'm going to put it on my snowflake and on my little lace things there and all around the sole of my little shoes because I wanted these to be fancy. They're bougie skates. Bougie. Anyway, take some baker's twine, three pieces I got from Dollar Tree and I braid it up real good and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, glue my, my snowflake. Now I use Aileen's tacky glue so I can get them in the right spot without dropping them and being all crooked. And even if there's blobs of glue, it dries clear and you can't see it. So, I just glue my snowflakes down with that. I'm going to hot glue my baker's twine to the back of my ice skates. I love this, y'all. I totally love this and so easy. Well, I make things difficult because I'm so picky, but whatever. And I'm going to take masking tape here. And I like to put it sticky side up and take two other pieces and tape down the ends of it. And I got those Scrabble pieces from Miss Shelly Craig sent them to me. Thank you. And um, I'm going to put them on there. I put Let It Snow. And I'm going to paint them in the ink chalk paint by Waverly. And you can still see the indentions of the um, letters. So I take my metallic paint or metallic pen from the Dollar Tree. And I just write over where the letters are, where I, where I can see through them. And I go a couple swaps and make it good and thick. And then I'm going to take um, this little glittery uh, clothespin got from the Dollar Tree forever ago. And I'm going to glue my little baker's twine in there and make it look like it's holding my skates up. And I'm going to overlap them here. And I thought, oh, maybe I can leave that one hang, not glue it. Nope, you can't do that because it's going to flop around. So I hot glue them both down, and I put my little words, let it snow. <clears throat> oh my goodness, y'all. I miss y'all so much, and I love you all to pieces. And you know, there's thousands of YouTubers on here, and you could be watching any of them, and you guys watch me, and that means the world to me. I don't even think you guys realize how much that absolutely means to me and how much each and every one of y'all mean to me. And we're getting close to 20,000. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it. It is amazing. And this journey has been so wonderful. And it's all because y'all, this channel don't belong to me. It belongs to y'all because you all are the one that makes it. And I love you guys and I appreciate it. But here it is, and I hope y'all like it. I think that is adorable. It's really, really pretty. Something for Christmas just to set out. And I just think, I just love it. I absolutely love it. And I hope y'all like it too. <clears throat> okay. Right here. Now, I got two of those signs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm taking the hanger off. And I thought I was going to need two of them. And then I realized I don't. I just need one of them. So, I'm going to uh, measure out in the middle. And 
I do it all the way down, like I find the center and go all the way down my sign so I can get it even as I can because I'm going to lay that yardstick down there. Little did I know that's the yardstick that I cut up, so it's a little bit choppy. And, um, yeah, I shouldn't have used that one, but I did, so what do you do? But that's fine. Everything worked out. I'm okay. No drama. I ain't mad at it. Anyway, and I just uh, trace that out, and then I take my knife, and um, I needed a new blade. I, I put a new blade on it later, but I just keep going down the center until I can snap it and then cut cut through it the rest of the way and it's not really hard guys it's really not just keep going over it and then I'm going to cut off that excess where I snapped it there and um right here I'm just making the ends of it and I I drew it and y'all can measure it make it all nice and neat but I, I don't care that much and it is a little bit crooked but I sand it down really good but it is crooked as a dog's hind leg but anyway, and I just lay the one on top of the other and trace that out and get the same uh, thing there. Look how crooked that is. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, and then I paint them both white, making sure I get the sides um, really good, too. And there's my inspiration. That's a little ornament I got from the Dollar Tree. And I was going to do it gray and everything, but I changed my mind because I wanted mine colorful. But isn't that cute? I want to make sure y'all saw it. And that's so cute. And I got thinking, you could take a lot of those ornaments from Dollar Tree and just big size them, like biggie size them, like you do at the at the Big Mac's uh, store, um, McDonald's. Yeah. Anyway, and I just take two skewers there from the Dollar Tree and I measure them out the same length of my little skis there. <clears throat> and I cut them off and I'm going to paint them both white. Okay. I got one of them arrows there from the Dollar Tree and we're going to remove all the jazz from it. And I'm going to trace out there, getting as straight as I can. And line that up because I'm going to cut the butt off my arrow. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's rear end, it's behind, it's backside. That's what it is. I can't say the point is because it's got a point in the other end. But I don't know. I'm just cutting that piece off. Anyway, and then I'm going to save it because I might be able to use that for something. You know what I'm saying? Anyway... I know I'm cutting all kinds of stuff, and I'm going to take that vintage green and paint that. And now, y'all, my camera went dead, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to explain some stuff. So I put um, painter's tape, I lined my signs up even across, did half-inch gaps in between at the top and the bottom. And on my Cricut, I cut out some snowflakes. And I'm going to paint my stripes green. And I'm going to paint my snowflakes red. I know y'all's like, red snowflakes? But it's so cute, y'all, when it's done. And I take red glitter and I sprinkle. I know glitter, right? All, while on that red paint while it's wet. So, yeah, I lost all kinds of footage. And I just kept working and didn't realize my camera was dead and dirt the dirt. Anyway, so, and I cut out let it snow. And I put the, let, the letters down. And I'm doing a reverse stencil here. I know, it's so confusing. And um, I put a piece of tape down so I could get my letter straight. And then I painted two little circle things I got from the Walmart. And then I painted a snowflake and put it on the end of my arrow and did little lines and stuff. Sorry, y'all, my camera went dead. And those little things come, those round things come in a six pack from Walmart. They were like a dollar or something. I don't even know. And I've had those things for two years. So anyway, just now using them. And I take them little squiggly things around like I do lines and dots and lines and dots on my little those things and I'm going to take that gorilla uh, glue heavy duty and I'm going to spray my signs hopefully that glitter will stay where it's supposed to be but you know how it is and I drilled holes in my little things there I found a bit the same size and I pushed it up on my poles I don't know just ski poles is that what they're I don't know what they're called I'm not a skier I tried to water ski one time and I kept doing splits and got water in my behind I'm like I'm done with this this is not fun when your legs are only 12 inches long it's really hard to get up on eight foot skis you know what I mean anyway <laughs> sorry um I'm okay went off on a tangent there I survived it though but anyway I'm just gonna line up my little skis here hair <laughs> And I'm going to crisscross my sign, and I and I measured it by my mat there to get it as even as possible. And boy, I hot glued it, too. 
and I already covered up the box. And I'm going to take one of them little cubes there from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put it there to have something to prop my my pose on, because they ain't got them on their own. They was going somewhere. They were going to town when one wanted roast beef. But anyway, so, yeah, going to crisscross them there. I'm going to hot glue them. I put a lot, a uh, lot uh, of hot glue. After that set, I put a lot, a uh, lot uh, more. I mean, I drenched that cube with hot glue, y'all. I mean, yeah, thank goodness you can't see it because it is ugly. Anyway, so I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Excuse me. And, okay, I got that garland. Look at my, just ignore my messy room. From the Dollar Tree, and I make four uh, circles with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then I tied it down real tight with the excess. And I take those picks there from the Dollar Tree. And I cut most of the greenery off of them. And I cut them in half. Because I'm going to take four of them. And or I only cut two. But I need four. Anyway. That, it was too long the other way. And I push it in between my wreath there. And I attach it to my ski poles. And up around my wreath to hold my wreath on there. <clears throat> I hope y'all understand that because could, could somewhat see what I'm doing. Old Fat Dabby had her behind laying on my, my lot and it was turning on and off and I didn't realize it until <laughs> it was already too late. Anyway, I just hot glue my little sign there and I put little berries and little pine cones on my wreath. Y'all, this is my, oh my goodness, I love this. And I take that tartan plaid ribbon from Dollar Tree and I make a little awareness bow. And uh, real simple, tied in the center with jute. And I'm going to hot glue it down. And then I cut my, my tails off. I'm taking a little red jingle bell and gluing it in the center. And y'all, oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> y'all, please say that you love these as much as I do. Because I absolutely, 130% love these. I think I could make those and sell them. Yeah, but it took time. It took a whole day to make them. Here's everything, y'all. I hope y'all had a great weekend. I'm sorry I'm late. I had 87 doctor's appointments this week. Not really, but I did have a lot of doctor's appointments this week, so everything got pushed behind. But I hope y'all enjoy the video, and I know I don't have 30 DIYs. I have four, and I hope that's okay with y'all. And hopefully I'll get back to my regularly scheduled program but I hope y'all have had a great Saturday, and I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Big hug. Mm.